Obama were killed. I ain't killed. a super gangster, yeah. nigga, but I clap mine. It only take one bullet to see a flat line. Hit him in the head! We on that time. I put your ass in the sky like the bat sign. No, it's hot. I'm like a hundred killers, no shot. This yeah, these these stuffies won't get me. Six million ways to die. Choose one. Don't pick. You never ask him how many demos he throws away. <laughs> Man, after you know my what? own heart. Okay, okay, all my uh, shit. okay, okay, okay. Because, Think about this. Because there were a lot of demos <laughs> that he kept that led to legendary artists. Right. Think about this, though. Working on it. No, think about this. <laughs> it's a 4% success rate in the music business. Mm. 4%. 4%. 4%. Mm -hmm. as Only as artists or overall? As, overall, it's a 4% success rate. So that means for every 100 artists, only four of them will make it, right? Mm -hmm. But before that, it's every four out of a hundred will get will get to the point where they get a deal. This explains so, the double XL covers. <laughs> so, so when you're sitting around oh, with man. six thousand tapes on your desk, right. you gotta listen to all them tapes. You might get two. So when you say a demo gets thrown away, it's because it probably should have been thrown away. You ever threw away a demo that you were like, "Damn, this shit actually went through." Nope. No artists, you was like, uh. Nope. Like, I tried to sign Nas before he had a demo. I, tell me about that. Akinelli, I was signing Akinelli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I got into a bidding war with, with uh, Interscope Records and Interscope One. Because I'm not a vice president, I'm just an A&R director. So I'm just fighting. I'm fighting the, the, the to president. To get them to bid I'm fighting up, Jimmy the, Iovine. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, how am I going Put to the beat money you up, when yeah. you can say whatever you want? I still got to ask two people. Right. So I'm just I'm gonna lose, but Akinelli's my man, and I'm like, yo, who is the dude who snuffed Jesus? And he was like, oh, that's Lil Nas <laughs> from New, from from um, Bring Him. When I was he twelve, comes, I went he to comes, help snuffing Jesus, and I'm like, yo, let me hear your shit. I don't have no demo. What? Like you just went that crazy, and you don't have a song? Nothing? He was like, nah. And it was right after we signed DOS Effects, who when they came, they had a whole album. Mm -hmm. wow. So it was just like, it's going to be hard to tell somebody sign now without, but I was just like, yo, please just bring me a, a demo, like something. And then he started to work with Lodge Pro and then he got the search before he could bring it back. But it's even crazy because in a record, Nas said, Clock didn't sign me because he just signed DOS Effects. And I was like, that's not the reason. <laughs> the reason I didn't sign you is because I have a fucking demo. Like, be honest. Wow. And then he was like, yo, you're right. But I was like, the record's already out. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying? Uh, 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 uh. But yeah. it's a true fact that I tried to sign Nas before everybody. Before everybody. Everybody. There was no conversation about, yo, bring him up. I was like, who's the dude who snuffed Jesus? Oh, that's Nas from Queensbridge. Bring him. I like him. Anybody who said I went to hell for snuffing Jesus needs to be spoken to. <laughs> yeah, come on. I tried to sign Mob Deep before everybody. Were they still a poetical how, how prophet? Did you they were across? political prophets. Yeah, yeah. How, how, much, how did you come across them? Um, the girl who managed them was, was cool with me and cool with Dame. And she brought them and like wasn't like... like Dame super, Dash. Dame Dash, yeah. Right. But wasn't really like super clear on what her relationship was with him. And then Dame was like, fuck it, I'll manage him. He wanted to manage Mob He was going to manage Mob, Mob D. D. Right. Or no, the poetical, po poetical po prophets. Po at that right. time. But like the next day, Bones Malone hears him. And then I'm just like, ah, oh, damn, this is about to get everywhere. And then right Bones heard him, and then Stretch heard him, and then like everybody was chasing him. And, and um, you know, it became what it became. So now you're here, you're like, damn. I'm Dame actually nah. managed him for a little bit. Interesting. You're like, damn, I Nas, never knew that. Nas got snatched up. Political prop Mob Deep got snatched up. Mm -hmm. I can't miss the next opportunity. Who was the next opportunity? Well, at that precise moment, after, after Mob Deep, I just was sitting there and I was like, yo, Jazz and Jay, let's go. Mm -hmm. And Jay, Jay was unfindable because mm -hmm. he was... You know, doing dude. what he was doing. What right. you mean, unfindable? Unfindable. I couldn't, I couldn't find him. He'll find him. <laughs> 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 that, that, that was pretty clear, right? Hold on, I just gotta make sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. couldn't find him. I couldn't, I couldn't find him, but I could find Jazz. 
I could find Jazz, and Jazz couldn't find him either. So I was like, yo, Jazz, we need to find Jay because to me it wasn't Jay-Z, it was Jay and Jazz. Mm -hmm. you know, it was always Jay and Jazz because that's what it was, them, them two together. To me, I never heard better rhymes than those two guys. And I was like, I got a job, I wanna do this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wanna do this on my own. I don't wanna do something that somebody brought to me. I wanna do this. Yo, where's Jay? I don't know. <laughs> what? You don't know? Yo, ask Fade from the Shirt Kings. Oh my God. Fade? Like, Fade, where's Jay? Hold on. He calls up Jay, he's at a girl crib, puts Jay on the phone. I was like, Fade knew where you were? He was like, don't worry about it. I was like, yo, dog. <laughs> Come to New York, let's, let's do these records. He was like, fuck rap. I was like, no, 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 no. You gotta come to New York and we gotta do these records, me, you, and Jazz. He right. was like, oh, well, next time I come to New York, I'll come up. He comes up, I'm like, what are we gonna do? And he was like, uh, rappers are corny. And I was like, I'm not gonna argue that fact, but I need you to rap. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, and uh, he, was, he was adamant. He was like, Clark, he, he literally was like, Clark, you know how much money I make? And I was like, I do. And I, I really hate to say this, but fuck that. And um, you told him give up the drug game? Yeah, I Dude. did. I, I begged him, like, yo, you gotta stop because this, you're it so- It sounds like Jay didn't want to be a rapper at all. Nah, it's not that he didn't want to be a rapper, it's just that Things didn't work out with Jazz. Things didn't work out with Kane. Got things you. didn't work out with all the people that he dealt with. Right. And here I am out of nowhere, like, come on, let's go. Do it again. But like every time we ever interacted, it was a good interaction. So I think at some point he was like, oh, this motherfucker actually gives a fuck about me. And I was like, dog, we can all hustle. I said, but ain't nobody talented like you and Jazz. Like, we got to do this. And then we get together. And then Jazz kind of is into something else. So then it becomes... What's it, the something well, else? Well, actually, actually we, we get together and they bring sauce. So now I'm looking at this like... So it's Jazz, sauce, sauce, and Jay. I'm like, yeah. this is going to be the illest shit ever. That's what I'm thinking. This right. is going to be the illest shit ever. So we call ourselves the Hard Pack. The Hard Pack. The Hard, the hard pack. pack. The Hard Pack. Mm. That was the I never name heard of us. this shit right. either. We were the Hard, hard pack. pack. And I was going to crush, kill, and destroy everybody. <laughs> right? Like, that's it. In my mind, I'm Get like, it. everybody's dead. Right. Like, dead. It's over. Like, dead, dead, dead. Yes. Like, you gonna die. Because I, yeah. I got the three illest niggas in the universe. And they all are from Brooklyn. All from the same spot. Right. Mars. Buildings apart. I'm right. like, I'm gonna hurt motherfuckers. Ooh. And this is gonna be amazing because I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, Jazz kind of got missing. And then Jay started. What do you mean, kind of got missing? Like, Jazz, like, he had a family and, and he was he was Ansar Muslim. So, you know, things that were happening within his community, he would have to address and right. have to be a part of. So then it became more like Jazz and Sauce. I mean, Jay and Sauce. Sure. And then, because of that, it became Sauce and Jay. So they were both solo artists. Right. They, would, they did plenty of records together. I got at least seven records of them together. That but, never came out? Yeah, no. Nah. I got records. You should anyway. bring those so we can hear those. You got to yeah. NFT them. No, nah, I don't have nah, to do nah, money. Nah, 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 nah. Why not? Nah, you want me to that's, tell you why I don't? Hold on, hold on. No, listen, this is why hold I don't. Do I don't have to do that. Because Amen. we are actually real friends. We're not just music industry guys. We're right. real friends. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, Jay is not Jay-Z to me. You know what I'm saying? He's Jay. It's my man. Got sauce you. is not sauce money to me. That's Toddy G. His name is Todd. That's my man. You right. know what I'm saying? So what we have is not the music business. Right. What we have is, I give a fuck about you and your families, and they give a fuck about me and my family. Right. We're actually real, like, friends. Yeah, like it's not industry shit when we see each other. Right. It's that's my man. We see cheeseburgers in the crib like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's different. This hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow nigga throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve you heard.